Hello and welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. In today's collecting video, we'll be taking a look at the incredibly odd and rare Waterworld water-powered watch, so let's jump right in. I recently acquired this item through ebay.com and while I've been monitoring ebay for rare Waterworld items for quite a few years, this is the only listing that I've ever seen for this most uncommon collectible. Looking at the front packaging for the water-powered watch, we see at the top the Waterworld logo and the copyright 1995, along with Enola's tattoo and the stenciled version of the Mariner, which of course is very reminiscent of the depiction of the Mariner on the packaging of the Kenner action figure toy line. Under those, we see that the packaging very proudly states that this is an officially licensed Waterworld watch. Under the Waterworld branding, we have the watch itself under plastic bubble packaging and the words, Water Powered Watch with Compass. A sticker informs us that the watch must be water activated. Along the bottom right, we get a list of the watch's incredible features. Amazing water powered watch, uses natural alternative energy source, no batteries needed, LCD quartz accuracy, time and calendar. Turning the packaging over and having a look on the back, we are given this long set of instructions on how to set up and use our new Waterworld water-powered watch. The text at the top thanks us for our purchase of the water-powered watch and informs us again that this piece of technology is energized by water, saving us the trouble and cost of replacing batteries and that this is ideal for today's energy-conscious world. And I just have to pause here for a minute and point out how well branded this product is for the film Waterworld. Not only is it water powered, perfect for a post-apocalyptic world covered in water, but it's also sustainably conscious, which of course fits into the film's overarching environmental themes by showing us a world in which the polar ice caps have melted due to our present day contributions to global warming, not to mention making the villains of the film gas guzzling motorhead pirates aboard the remains of the Exxon Valdez. But turning our attention back to the back packaging of the water powered watch, we are given specific directions on how to use our new time telling device, starting with exciting directions on how to activate the digital clock with water and more conventional directions on how to set up the time and date. We will be following this step by step process in just a minute when we see if this 25 year old wristwatch even still works, but first let's get this gadget out of its packaging and have a look at the water powered watch itself. Sliding away the cardboard backing, we can remove the watch from its plastic bubble, freeing this fairly bulky black plastic watch. Looking first at the face of the watch, we are given a fairly standard LCD display with the word quartz above it, referring to the type of crystal oscillator that regulates the timekeeping and the message water resistant to 90 feet below it. Above the watch face is a water chamber with the words water powered watch, the Waterworld logo, and the copyright year 1995. Below the watch face is a genuine floating compass, however, the one on my timepiece seems to not work correctly and gets stuck in the wrong position. Even though there are no visible leaks or cracks, I suspect that some of the water under the needle has actually evaporated over the years so that it no longer floats properly in its housing. Turning to the back side of the watch face, we are actually greeted with a pleasant surprise. There is a translucent window peering into the inner workings of the water powered watch. And I think this little detail really contributes to the watch's educational toy aesthetic and is obviously part of what is called the clear craze, which was a marketing fad that ran from the late 80s to the early 2000s, which saw many electronic products produced with clear or translucent plastic casings. The wristband itself is a nice soft rubber that fits comfortably on my wrist even despite the bulkiness of the watch face and its compass. But now let's get back to those operating instructions and get some water in this watch and see if after 25 years this timepiece is still functional. Step 1 is to place the water powered watch under a sink faucet with the portholes facing upwards. Step 2 is to turn on the faucet with cold water and let the water run over the portholes for 2 to 3 minutes, allowing the inner sponges to soak. The translucent backing actually allows you to see if the sponges are completely wet. 
Step 3 is to turn off the faucet then shake the watch slightly a few times. But even without shaking, after 2 minutes of placing the watch under running water, the LCD display began to flicker and then magically came to life. The water powered watch is in perfect working condition. But how in the world does this watch operate on water power and not a battery? Well this actually sent me down a bit of an internet rabbit hole, but from what I can tell this device uses two dissimilar metals on either side of the connective sponge, and in the presence of water this creates a slight electrical current that can power the quartz movement of the watch. Either that, or it has an actual battery inside of the watch which is only activated when the electrical circuit is completed by the drenching of the internal sponges in water. Let me know in the comments below if you understand the science behind this water powered or activated watch. Step 4 is to set the time and date using the instructions on the bottom of the back packaging. Using the S1 and S2 side buttons I was able to set up my watch with the correct month, day, hour, and minute. And using the S1 button you can cycle through the current time, month and date and a display that shows the seconds. Step 5 lets us know that when the LCD display starts to dim that it's time to add more water to the inner sponges and that with the proper care and maintenance we will have years of water powered watch enjoyment. Below the instructions is a note recommending that you refill the sponges every 4 to 5 days and that the water powered watch should be kept away from soap which will plug the poreholes. But regardless, that is the Waterworld water powered watch, an incredibly rare piece of Waterworld collecting, but one that actually fits into the overall themes of the film incredibly well and would be the ideal watch to own in a water apocalypse. I'm super proud to have this in my collection and would recommend it to anyone else who is also an avid Waterworld collector and can get their hands on this most uncommon artifact. I know this was a shorter video, but I really felt this item deserved its own spotlight so if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and comment down below. This kind of stuff really helps the channel to grow. And I have more deep dive content planned for the rest of this year and beyond so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join me as we uncover every nook and cranny of the Waterworld universe. Also, follow the Atoll on Instagram for even more Waterworld content. But with that, thanks, as always, for joining me at the Atoll.